There's nobody more deserving. And not even close. To step in as the second president of the South Florida Bible College. So Mary Grady. And she deserves it. Uh, you know, she deserves this honor. So I want you to know that being and I are very proud of you and all that you've done, all you've accomplished. And she made so many sacrifices. I, I can't begin to tell you. It used to break my heart because uh, you know, Mary would have these people working under her and they were making more money than she did. Yep. And so, you know, along with B and I, she sacrificed her and Tommy, sacrificed a lot too. And her heart and, and I, my heart was just to get this college going, <laughs> do whatever God told us to do. You know, it wasn't, it wasn't the money or any of those things. And it's still not today. <clears throat> yeah. And of course, since then, God has blessed and we've been able to uh, get her up to finally just now, recently here, uh, to where she needs to be uh, as far as being paid. So thank God for that. I'm going to ask uh, Dr. Tony Buchanan and Dr. Gary Cohen to come to the podium, please. These are two men that I have the greatest respect for. Uh, Dr. Cohen has uh, helped this college tremendously. <laughs> and uh, just his name alone, <laughs> you know, having Dr. Cohen uh, with us and part of the college is just wonderful. Uh, Dr. Dr. Tony Buchanan, uh, and it was about 10 years ago now. <laughs> when we were going for accreditation, uh, you know, because we had applied once before and we had kind of a little run in with the accrediting agency and so on. And so we were, we were kind of leery of um, going back there. But God sent this guy, <laughs> Tony Buchanan, down. And he sat in the office with us, and, and as soon as he started talking, I knew that God sent this man to South Florida Bible College. And since then, he's helped us all through the years, uh, and uh, been a consultant for, for years. Uh, you know, he used to work at the accrediting agency and on the commission that, that, it, that actually, you know, approved the accreditation and all that. And so, uh, after he had stepped down from those positions, I said to Mary, who better to get for a consultant than Tony Buchanan? And so, Tony's been with us, and, he, and he's brought us through the undergraduate accreditation, the, uh, the graduate accreditation. And uh, he's still working with us, and we're bringing him uh, back this coming year. We'll be helping down once uh, every month. And he's gonna help us because we have a team coming down from our credit agency next spring. Uh, and then uh, once we pass that, and then we don't have to do it again for 10 years. <laughs> hey. So, you know, praise God. But, uh, you know, God talks about uh, separation, calling the separation. You know, in the book of Romans, uh, very first verse, Paul said, I'm an apostle called by God, and I've been separated to preach the gospel. So there's a calling, and then there's a separation. Remember Paul, when he was Saul, and then he became Paul? But in his zeal, he was running out, trying to tell everybody about Jesus, and uh, then Jesus had to take him on the backside of the desert and teach him. And then God released him. In, uh, I believe it's Acts chapter 13, uh, they were praying and fasting in the church at Antioch, and the Holy Spirit said, Now separate unto me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. So there's a calling and then a separation. A lot of people have the calling, and they step into the calling, but they don't make it to the separation. But uh, Mary's had this calling on her life for many years. And uh, so today, uh, you know, even though we have, we have done that, uh, but spiritually today, uh, we're going to go ahead and anoint her uh, 
in a minute here. But I, I just wanted to read this. I came across the footnotes uh, in the book of Joshua. Uh, it said that when the mantle was handed to Joshua from Moses, one of the greatest challenges to leadership is training others to become leaders. Many outstanding accomplishments have been started by someone with great ability whose career ended before the vision became reality. And so there's so much more of the vision at South Florida Bible College that has to be fulfilled. And, uh, you know, I'm honored to pass it on to Mary because I know that she's going to do exceedingly beyond my, my dreams uh, in carrying out the, the vision at South Florida Bible College. <clears throat> the fulfillment of that dream then becomes the responsibility of the person's successor. That be you, Mary. <clears throat> One of the best te tests of our leadership is our willingness and ability to train another to our position. <clears throat> Moses made an excellent decision when he chose Joshua as his assistant, and I know that I made an excellent decision with Mary. That choice that Moses made was later confirmed by God himself when he instructed Moses to commission Joshua as a, his successor. And uh, it said down here in another footnote, so Moses did as Jehovah commanded and took Joshua to Eliezer the priest. As the people watched, Moses laid his hands upon him and dedicated, <clears throat> dedicated him to his responsibility as the Lord had commanded. And uh, that's what we're going to do today. We're going to anoint Mary with oil and lay hands upon her. Except we're not going to Eliezer the priest. We're going to Jesus the high priest. Amen. So I'm going to ask that Dr. Cohen is going to the same words. We know it was God's will that uh, when Aaron was made the first high priest, that they consecrated uh, Aaron by uh, pouring the olive oil that had been consecrated in the tabernacle the, uh, to make him the high priest. And the, the oil symbolizes that God's spirit should be upon him and here that God's spirit should be upon Mary for blessing and enablement. And uh, thus we do this now. Amen.
Amen. Oh, you're going to take me? <laughs> the problem right now is thinking of the breakfast at the Tennessee yes. Suites. Yes. <laughs> Let's go. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all. Thank you all so much. And if I can get this without crying, I'll be really Thank you, Jesus. In fact, that's where I first want to be. My Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who has counted me faithful, placing me in ministry, but not only me, but all the staff and the faculty and board members and everybody at South Florida Bible College. The founder, our chancellor now, chairman, and first president, <laughs> Dr. Joe, um, our former chairman, Bob Boutwell, of course, Dear Dr. Cohen and Marion Cohen, and Terry and B and Dr. Buchanan, directors of the Bible College, our faculty, our staff, our current and former student friends, family, thank you so much <laughs> for this honor and the confidence that you've placed in me. Amen. Love you, Mary. I can't do it without crying. <laughs> And thank you to our staff who worked so diligently to keep the college running smoothly. Deanna, while you're hiding, this is for you because you worked so hard. As you can see, she's hiding here. <laughs> A special thanks to the inauguration committee, which is Wayne and Deanna, basically, um, who put so many hours into this event and to make it so memorable. Thank you to our faculty members who work with devotion to give our current students an outstanding education. Everyone has given unselfishly, and I am grateful to all those who have helped to make this event a success. And I come now to my most treasured blessings. <laughs> I would especially like to welcome my two sons, Joshua. He's here somewhere with London. <laughs> um, Daniel, Gabriella. My two beautiful granddaughters, who are the most beautiful granddaughters in the world, <laughs> London and Lila. <laughs> and of course, Tommy, my husband, my friend, my best friend, my confidant. And the first man. Ooh. First man. Um, thank you to my mother, Bernice, who is 91 years old. Brothers Carrie and Bob, and my identical twin sister. Martha. I'm the original. She's the original. I thought I'd say Stuart. You got me. And to my family and love who came down and surprised me <laughs> Maria, Rosado, oh, I'm going to cry, <laughs> Michael and Rebecca, and a very special young man who has stolen my heart because he was the first ever to call me Mimi, <laughs> Mr. Lucas Wolf. <laughs> yeah. I love you. A very special thank you to Dr. Joe and B. Guadagnino. Without their commitment, their faithfulness and sacrifice, none of us would be here today. You are both a fine example for all to follow because you follow Jesus Christ. Thank you for your love and your support to both my family and me for the past 33 years, <laughs> even though I'm only 39. <laughs> Without you pouring your lives, I can't even read my life, <laughs> into us, we want to be able to fulfill the call of God that's upon our lives and what God has called South Florida Bible College and Theological Seminary to do. Thank you for your unconditional love 
and for believing in us when no one else did. Our only eternity will reveal all that has accomplished because of your steadfastness in the things of God. Amen. Now, inaugurations are about institutions, not individuals. They're about moments in time. This year, we're celebrating 30 years, thank you, Jesus, you know, of ministry for South Florida Bible College and Theological Seminary. The college is now more than a quarter century old, a more mature institution at a very different time. From its beginning, South Florida Bible College has been on the cutting edge of ministry, bringing together students and professors to help men and women fulfill the call of God upon their lives. I'm humbled and honored to begin my service as the second president, and I pledge to give you my best with the help of the Holy Spirit to build on the foundation that was laid and the principles that were established by Dr. Joe and our board of directors. So yes, today marks my inauguration, but today is not about me. It's about South Florida Bible College and Theological Seminary and what God has accomplished. It's about each of us and our part in this great journey as God continues to use South Florida Bible College and Theological Seminary to change the world one student at a time. Hebrews 12.1 tells us, therefore, since we have such a great cloud of witnesses surrounding us, let us also lay aside every encumbrance and the sin which so easily entangles us and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. You know, it's also always the most crucial time in a relay race when the baton is passed to the next runner. And when it is passed, it's always passed while running at full speed. And we're running at full speed today. <laughs> they enter the race at the most strategic moments to move the baton for further toward the finish line. And what happens in those exchanges is critical. And I pledge before you today, and in the presence of Almighty God, that I will continue on with what God has only just started at South Florida Bible College and Theological Seminary. As we continue into this new era, our theme will be remember, rejoice, and renew. We will remember all that God has done for us bringing us this far. We will rejoice in all that he has allowed us to accomplish, and we are dedicated to the renewal of our commitment to what the Lord has in store for us. God has used South Florida Bible College and Theological Seminary to, Seminary to work on a global level. We'll continue to work globally by working with Brazil, Croatia, Guyana, going into Cuba, the South Africa, Mozambique, and the Hispanic communities. We'll continue to reach and make our impact on the world with the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. We'll continue to be a community resource center that promotes unity and diversity, uniting generations and different denominations. We'll continue to provide affordable education to students, allowing them an opportunity to graduate and go into ministry debt-free. <laughs> We'll continue to educate students to have a working knowledge of the various theological doctrines, facilitating awareness and spiritual maturity. We'll also maintain our partnership and enrich our relationship with Faith Farm Ministries. Thank you, Dean, for being here and all the board members of Faith Farm and your support here today, too. Um, we'll continue that relationship, our partnership, extending the opportunity for their graduates to earn college credit. And in order to assist international students from abroad, as I said before this year, we'll mark the beginning of our English for Academic Purposes program and a resource that will support students, teaching them new skills that they need to be effective and successful. We'll help support our veterans and empower our veterans, men and women that have already given so much of themselves. They too will be afforded the opportunity to graduate debt-free from South Florida Bible College. We will promote and encourage professional development through teaching and ministry to all students in our academic community because it enhances both personal growth and excellence in learning. We'll continue to offer so much, Carol, get ready, <laughs> career services, support services, and assistance with assessing local resources to students. They'll be supported by helping them identify their life goals, their ministry goals, their academic careers, and accompanying strategies in order to achieve success in a timely manner which includes graduating on time. We foster an atmosphere based on the Christian tenets of the Holy Bible with trust, integrity, respect, a community that welcomes change and re 
reveres and appreciates tradition. A community that represents unity and diversity. A community that is an effective ambassador of Jesus Christ and his kingdom. We'll have to prepare, prepare students for ministry, for lifelong learning by providing clearly defined programs. This is only the beginning of what God has in store for us here at South Florida Bible College and Theological Seminary. And through God's grace and outstanding faithfulness, we continue to exceed all of our projections for enrollment. You know, the vision that God has given us is more than we can ask or think. So keep asking, John. <laughs> At this time, I, as new president, <laughs> I'm going to announce that we're establishing two new awards, two new awards for academic excellence that we'll be giving to outstanding students. Dr. John, would you come up here, please? <laughs> in recognition to your service to the body of Christ and South Florida Bible College and Theological Seminary, we're going to be instituting the Chancellor's Award for Academic Excellence in your name, Dr. Joseph Guadagnino. Doc is the founder, obviously, the Chancellor, now Chairman of the Board. Um, which he founded in 85. He holds a Master's of Arts in Christian Studies from Whitfield Theological Seminary, a Doctorate of Divinity from North American School of Theology, and a PhD in Theology from Faith Theological Seminary. And him having been in the ministry for over 30 years, as I said, has brought great insight on how to run a successful ministry. The Chancellor's Award for Student Excellence will acknowledge students who have received recognition in their field of study. We will recognize students who have integrated academic excellence with leadership, community service, the arts, and career achievement. Amen. Along with that award, at this year's commencement exercises as well, we will begin to award the Dr. Gary Cohen Award for Academic Excellence in the field of Old Testament Studies. you'll find out much more. But he's been a board member of South Florida Bible College, currently serves on our advisory board. He's president emeritus of Cohen Theological Seminary in Torrance, California, and Seoul, Korea. He is a renowned author and one of the translators of the New King James Bible. He's a retired Army Reserve Chaplain and has served as pastor of two churches as president of Grand Bible College and Clearwater Christian College. And with the help of his family, and anybody been to the Holy Land experience in Orlando, they built the model for Jerusalem now housed there. In recognition of your service to the body of Christ, we're going to institute this award, and the primary consideration for this award will be the student's overall grade point average and coursework completed, and additional consideration will be given to exceptional performance in Old Testament studies, including research, special student projects, and contribute Contrib contribution, if I can say it, <laughs> to departmental clubs and honor societies. Amen. Him and his family have meant so much to us here, and he's been a blessing to us in the body of Christ. When he does seminars, he has one piece of paper, and it has dates, and he teaches Old Testament <laughs> just off the top of his head without any notes. <laughs> Yep. For 30 years, South Florida Bible College and Theological Seminary has flourished because it has remained faithful to God's vision to equip men and women for Christian service. Today we reflect on all that God has already accomplished at South Florida Bible College and Theological Seminary. We can only begin to sense the magnitude of God's vision for this college as it expands beyond the surrounding community. An awesome responsibility comes with it. <laughs> And it's humbling that God would entrust us with such a vision. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hold it together. <laughs> it's also confirmation that our successes have been found in Jesus Christ, without whom accomplishments are finite and meaningless. Thank God for his faithfulness. He makes all of our hard work, all of our successes, and all of our accomplishments at South Florida Bible Colleges of infinite value. 
and everlastingly meaningful. I am convinced that we are entering the most exciting times we have ever experienced. A time filled with challenge and demand, but also a time of great joy and victory as we begin this new era for South Florida Bible College. Amen. Amen. If my life verse, and verse for the Bible College is Jeremiah 29, 11. It says, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. I want to close with these lyrics by Steve Green. I close with these by Steve Green. After all our hopes and dreams have come and gone, and our children sift through all we've left behind, May the clues that they discover and the memories they uncover become the light that leads them to the road we each must find. Oh, may all who come behind us find us faithful. May the fire of devotion light their way. May the footprints that we leave lead them to believe, and the lives we live inspire them to obey. Oh, may all who come behind us find us faithful. Amen. And to God we give the glory. Amen.